One of the best things about Scratch is the built-in demo projects. If we go to File, Open, and down to Examples, we can go through a bunch of different examples. In this case, I'm going to look at games. And I know for a fact that the Pong game is a really good starting place to learn how to write a real game in Scratch. So we're going to open the Pong game, hit OK. That's going to replace the cat sprite with a ball and a paddle, and we have our stage. If we look at the stage, our stage has no scripts and has one background with a red bottom. We have a ball who has a bunch of scripts, we'll come back to him, and a paddle who has one thing where the green flag is checked, he's forever going to set his X to the mouse X. So whenever I move the mouse, the paddle is going to follow wherever that mouse is. Under these ball scripts, though, when the flag is pressed, he's going to go to a start position, and he's going to wait until he's touching the red button. If he touches red, he will stop all. Also, parallel to that, when the green flag is clicked, he's going to always check to see if he's touching the paddle. If he is, we're going to play a sound, point in the opposite direction, that's 180, minus direction, move five steps, and then pick a random between plus and minus 20 to get some random motion. Also, parallel to both of those, forever, if he's going to check the edge, if he sees the edge, he's going to bounce and move four steps. So we hit the green flag, the program will start, the ball will fall under my paddle, the ball will bounce off the paddle. Now if I let the ball hit the ground, the game will stop. The first thing we might want to do is get rid of the annoying water drop noise, because I really hate that. So I'm going to take that, drag it out, and because it's not connected to anything, he's no longer going to play. I also want the ball to move a little faster, so let's change this up to... Six. That's right now. The ball's a little faster, no more annoying noise, and the game automatically stops when the ball hits the end. From here, we can do some things like add a second player. We'll do that in a further video.